Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn how to upload the file uh, or insert the attachment into WordPress upload directory. In the previous video we had learned how to create input elements for the um, up uploads and uh, how to create a post and insert it into the database under the post section so that we can link our attachments to the parent post okay and in this video we're going to learn how to save those uploads how to validate it basically uh, to check if it's a particular uh, type of image and um, um, you know uh, particular size and things like that yeah great so the very first thing we want to do is basically check what do we get inside of the um, file uh, dollar underscore files uh, super globals because whenever you go ahead and uh, select any particular file and you try to upload it uh, what do we get inside of the dollar underscore file so what we're going to do is just get rid of this and just print the files so how um, sorry Okay, so whenever you save uh, any particular element data for any input element, uh, which are type of text or number and things like that, it goes in dollar disco post if you've selected the method of the form uh, as post. Um, and in case if you have uh, used an input element with the type of file, then that data that you uh, try to save here goes into dollar disco files. Okay, that's why we're going to print this and see what we get inside of it. So let's refresh the page, and sure enough, currently you see you don't have any, you don't have anything basically over here. You have name, type, type name, uh, error is four, uh, which means there is error. There is no file inside of it. Okay, size and everything. Also, you got all of this information basically for these two input elements. Uh, these two input element names are user profile pick and user pass work pick because that's the name we've given into our form. So if you can check. The first input element has got the name as user profile pick, and the second input element has got user past work pick. Okay, and so this is pretty much what we have here. And when we go ahead and select the file inside of them, so let's say I select this and I select this one as well. And then if you submit it, sure enough, you can see now that you've got the data inside of them. Now don't worry about this codes and all because you would obviously have. Um, yeah, you would obviously have the all of these codes onto my GitHub repository, and you will have the link in the description box of my video, so you, you can check from there. Okay, so if you have a look over here, we've got the name of the file, which is playstore.png. We've got the type, which is image um, forward slash png. We've got the temp name. So basically, whenever you upload a file, it goes into the temp directory of your uh, local. Um, computer so this basically goes to application map temp PHP and if I want to show you that I can show that to you so application uh, look for map which is this folder then it look for the ht docs no no not ht docs actually let's see it's so application map temp temp directory so temp directory is this one then it goes to uh, PHP okay and then sure enough if you see this is the file that you've uploaded uh, it, we tried to upload basically it goes into the temp directory which is PHP DIZ uh, if you see PHP DIZ where is it where is it uh, DIZ PHP IK there's something wrong here. Ten PHP. Probably could be hidden or something. But this is where it goes basically, just to tell you these are the old files that I have which had gone to the temp directory. Okay, so this is where basically it goes. Okay. Great. <clears throat> so coming back to what we're discussing. Um, so 
you're gonna get all the file information into dollar underscore files and it's an array basically so you can see that you've got two of the files information here so we're gonna define a function basically uh, if you just check just go down here paste it <coughs> So I'll tell you what's happening inside of this function. So I've created a custom function called uh, wf handle profile media. Okay. And this function accepts two parameters. This is my custom function, post ID and user ID. Okay. And uh, this is going to check if the dollar underscore files is not empty, which means that if it has got some values inside of them, which means user has uploaded something, only then this condition will be met. If that's the case, check if this is not empty, which means the first image uh, part is not empty. User has selected something over here. User profile pick is not empty. It's going to check that. And then it's going to go ahead and uh, basically uh, save that profile media. So again, I will create a custom function, which is WF save profile media. I'm just going to copy that to save time. <clears throat> so I'm just going to define it right on top of this. <clears throat> so in this function, we are passing the name of the file input. Uh, so in the first case, it's user profile pick, and that's what we passed here. If you come and check uh, wf save profile media, this is the function we are calling, and we are storing all the information inside of it into this variable. We're passing the uh, file input name. So once it comes over here, it gets the file input name. We're going to get the store these values into these variables. So basically, file size, which basically which is this, uh, will be available under dollar underscore files and the file input name, which is uh, this. And then again, it'll be size. So we're accessing this property, and then we're accessing the size of it. Okay, so we are checking that if it's not empty then store its value is equal to this otherwise store it as an empty string similarly we'll get the file type which is basically um, this type okay and then again if it's if it's empty then it'll be an empty string uh, then we need the extension basically so we are we have image uh, forward slash png what we're interested in getting is just png over here so we're going to use the PHP explode function. It accepts two parameters. First is the um, you know delimiter from where you want to explode that particular string. It it returns an array of the exploded string. Okay, so you need to pass the file type. File type is nothing but the this whole thing. So it will split these two, and it's going to get you the these two elements, these two strings basically in form of an array. Obviously, I want the um, the first element uh, the first index which means 0 and 1 which means this one so I'm gonna get file extension if not empty then set its value is equal to this so basically I'm gonna get the uh, PNG from here okay uh, if you want to check it out that that's what's actually happening you will you will get to know in some time uh, let's just move on from here then the next thing we know, need is the expansion. Uh, basically, what are the types that we are wanting to check? Uh, do we want all kind of files, uh, file types, or do we want only certain types? So this is uh, going to create. An, we're going to create an array which will store all of these file types that we need. You can always add more if you want, but for now, let's just check this. So it has to be JPEG, JPG, PNG, and PDF. Only then, uh, you know, we're going to accept. Uh, the upload uh, so we'll store this uh, array into a variable expansions and then check if the file has a required format so we'll check in array function so in array basically checks if certain um, string is uh, you know there in an array or not so file extension is basically uh, png and in this case jpeg so first parameter will be the file extension which is png or jpeg uh, and it's going to check over here in the first situation the PNG so it'll check whether it exists in this particular array if it does brilliant um, so this condition will not be met uh, but if if it isn't uh, then it will go ahead and store the um, error 
string into the errors um, variable which is errors basically we're defining an empty array over here we are storing this value into it then we are going to check if it's the right file size remember this is going to always be in bytes so the size that you see over here is basically bytes so it's going to check if the file has the required size and uh, this value is equal to 2 MB so if the file size is greater than 2 MB then throw the error which means store the error into the error variable and over here we're going to check if this error uh, variable which is an array is empty only then proceed otherwise returns false uh, so if these two conditions are met the errors uh, variable which is an array will be empty if it's empty then this is the condition which will be met and we'll create another custom function to move this into attachment uh, upload directory of WordPress so which is basically if you go into WP contents then you go to uploads and you go to uh, 2018 for basically this is the upload folder this way all the attachments get saved uh, physical not physically but uh, you know just get saved over here um, all right so now we're going to create another custom function to move that attachment to upload directly so this function um, job was just to ensure that we are actually um, you know validating our uh, attachment it has to be the right format it has to be the right extension uh, and the right size so these two conditions are met over here then we're going to define a custom function to move that to the upload folder so I'm just going to go ahead and copy that to save time otherwise the video is going to be really long so let's just do that so I'm going to define that just above it. So again, this is the custom function wf move attachment to upload directory. And over here, what we're going to do is basically include the file.php of WordPress. So guys, in order for us to move the upload file, uh, sorry, uh, attachment file into the uploads directory, we need to include this file without which it won't work. So this is basically the requirement that WordPress has given us. So WordPress has uh, this file into WP admin includes folder. So we need to include that. So we'll just go ahead and uh, check if this function exists, WP handle uploads. And that's the function responsible for moving the our attachment into the uploads folder. If that function exists, then include this file once. Um, and apps path is basically the URL up until the root directory of our um, WordPress okay and then uploaded file is equal to file the file input name so we've already got this file input name uh, being passed from here and file input name is nothing but the name of the file which is basically uh, the these information so in the first case it will be the user profile pick okay this whole thing this one Okay, so go over here and then uploaded file will be equal to the name of the file, which is this. Then the upload overwrites. This is basically what we need to do in order for us to upload things. So RA test form is going to follow this WordPress requirement. And then we're going to call this function. The job of this function is basically to move the file. Okay, and uh, so we'll call this function and it's going to take a parameter, which is the file name and, and upload overwrites, which is basically this and it's going to return move file okay um the file is valid and was successfully updated so if that is the case if it's uh, if it's not is set which means there is no error then return move file else return move file error so move file basically is going to get you the object uh, which contains either the error or the um success message i think yeah we'll, we'll check that in a moment okay so basically it's going to move that into the uploads directory okay so once that is done um, let's see so let's comment this out and just do this much and see what's going on Okay, let's go ahead and try that. I'm 
going to choose a file. Let's say this one. Oh, I submitted. Sorry. So let's go to uploads directory. Okay, let's choose another one. Downloads. Let's say curtains. Let's choose another this one as well. Let's say which one? Paper clip. Submit it. So I should have curtains and paper clip into the uploads folder. And that's not working. Why is that? Okay, let's try out. Probably because we are not redirecting. Let's try it one more time. <clears throat> it won't take GIF for sure. Probably because the size of the image was too high. Probably that's why it didn't take it. It has to be less than 2 MB. This is 1.1 MB, so that should take that. Submit. The reason why it wasn't working, guys, is because we haven't really called this function yet. We need to call this function over here, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and call this function over here, WF handle profile media. Uh, again, we can comment this redirection. And we'll pass the post ID and the user ID. Remember, we get the post ID by inserting the post. And if it already exists, we'll get the post ID by this function, uh, which I've explained in my previous video. Okay, so this function is basically going to go ahead and handle the profile uploads and, and over here we're checking if the files, uh, super global files exist and if this has a value, then go ahead and call this function. The job of this function is basically to uh, check and validate if it's the right extension, if it's the right size. If it is, then call our custom function. This custom function is going to use the WP handle upload function to insert the uh, media or the attachment into the uploads directory of WordPress. So let's refresh the page. Let's choose an image. So curtains, I hope they are less than 2 MB, are they? Let's just check. Yeah, 217, that's fine. And then let's have a look at um, something else. Yeah, we can go for this one think uh, I should have curtains and up up white into my uploads directory are they yes they are you can see that now we have curtains and we have the up white uh, images both of them into our uploads directly uh, directory using this function okay great uh, so that's that and uh, now we'll proceed further into the next video and we will go ahead and learn how to go ahead and uh, update that um, information uh, into the database because this is just moving the file into from the temp directory into the uploads folder but there has to be uh, a path for this that needs to be there in the database so that we if we want to access that in future we can and we also need to uh, you know create an parent post id uh, for this particular attachment so we'll learn that in the next video okay take care guys bye bye